hey, I want you to stop what you're doing because you're using the sharpening tool in Lightroom all wrong. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you the easy fix that's only gonna take just a few seconds to figure it out and start unlocking the power of the sharpening tool in Lightroom. Here we have this photo of the cutest little puffin in Iceland. I'm gonna go to my develop module and I'm just gonna increase the exposure on this because there's honestly not a ton that we have to do with this photo before we come down to sharpening. Now, sharpening is really reserved for making the edges of your object sharp, but you have to do it in the right areas of your actual photo. Now, with landscapes and wildlife, the sharpening has to be dialed in on exactly where you want your audience to make connection with the photo. And wildlife, like this image with this puffin, it's in the actual eyes of the puffin, but also on the edges of the puffin and nowhere else in the image. So we're really going to try to dial this in in this photo. So I'm going to scroll down to sharpening. And the first thing we're going to do is select the correct area. Now you see this little box with the hash marks around it. I'm just going to select that box and I'm going to pull around this photo to try to find the right areas that I want to sharpen to. So I'm going to come right on the eye of the puffin right here. Now, if you're doing this in something like a landscape photo or a cityscape or travel photo, just find a hard edge where there's a lot of contrast going on in the photo, bright highlights, dark shadows, and sharp, sharp edges that you can navigate this window to. So for sharpening, if you're anything like me, you used to just click and drag this up and try to find the right spaces to have all of these sliders. I had no idea what radius and detail and masking did with the sharpening tool, but I found out and I want to share it with you because you're probably doing it wrong like I was. So if I come in here to the amount of sharpening, I'm just going to have it to about 32. Now, 32 is pretty good here just because, you know, it's already a really sharp photo. I guess if you want it looking really sharp, you can go above that. But really anything over 50 starts to look a little bit fake. Now, with the radius detail and masking is where this power of the, of the sharpening tool really comes out. So if I hold down my alter option key on my keyboard, it unlocks everything with this sharpening tool. So I'm gonna hold down alter option and I'm gonna click radius and bring that up. Now you can see where this puffin starts to appear in this photo. Basically what radius does with the image is it creates edges and hard edges right around that uh, sharpening feature. So the harder edges that we have, the more radius that we're coming up with in this photo. So now I've increased the radius on the sharpening tool with this puffin based on what we saw on this grayscale view of the actual photo. So I'm gonna go to detail next. Now detail is really important here because we can hold down the exact same key and unlock the, the power of the detail slider. So I'm gonna hold down alter option here and I'm gonna slide detail up. Now I've found that detail works really well in the actual uh, window down here where we selected the eye of the puffin. Really hard to see in the overall photo. So focus down here on this little window. Hold down alter option and scroll up on detail and you can see how much detail is added to that eye. If we go all the way up, it starts to look a little bit grainy and not realistic. I'm just gonna drag that down until we start to see very soft feathering around that eye, kind of like that. Now, masking is exactly where you want this sharpening to occur in the image. As of now, everything we've done is sharpening the entire photo. I don't necessarily want that because I don't want the blurry grasses in the foreground sharpened or the blurry background sharpened as well. I want it basically just on the puffin. So with masking, anything that's white is going to be within that edit. Anything that's black is not going to show that effect. So I want white edges right around my puffin. You'll see if I hold down alter option and click the masking, it turns the whole photo white because that sharpening is adjusting the entire photo. But as I click and drag it up, you see that quickly start to change. So I want it right around the puffin and some of those details right around it that are actually sharp. So something about right here, about 74, is exactly where I want that to be. Now our puffin is super sharp, super happy, and the cutest little puffin you've ever seen in your entire life. Now, if this helped you out, there's tons more in Lightroom you could be leaving on the table and missing out on to create amazing, 
photos. I teach all of this in a step-by-step -step process in landscape photography university for you to improve your photos through a proven process. Right now, the course Lightroom and Photoshop for Landscape Photographers is on sale for $97. That's linked below in the video description. Or you can select the option to get 15 total courses for the same price of $97 by enrolling in Landscape Photography University. That link is in the video description down below or in the pinned comment. The choice is yours on which option to choose.